Welcome back guys. Today we're gonna to be talking about all the different strap and bracelet options available on Rolex watches. We have a few of the different options available here in front of us. For example, we have the Rolex Oyster Bracelet, the Jubilee, the classic leather strap, we have the President Bracelet, also the Pearl Master, some integrated bracelet designs, and the Oyster Flex. This is just some of the strap and bracelet options that Rolex offers. We're going to dive a little deeper into it and take a look. First, we're going to start off with the most common Rolex bracelet, the Oyster. This is the oldest bracelet that Rolex produced, and it also came in the most variants. We have two modern versions here. Here on the right, we have the Oyster bracelet on the new Submariner, and it's a completely brushed bracelet. Over here on the left, we have it on the GMT. With a little bit difference, there's the brushed side links and polished center link. It's just a little bit different look, a little bit classier look, but essentially they're both the same bracelet. The Rolex Oyster bracelet is really the go-to bracelet for sports watches. You'll find it on Submariner, Sea Dwellers, GMT, and some watches are only available with the Oyster bracelet, like the Rolex Explorer. The Oyster is the most common bracelet that Rolex offers. It's also available in the most options. Here we have the stainless versions, but it also comes in gold. It also comes in several different versions of two-tone. The Oyster bracelet is fitted with both the Oyster clasp or the Oyster lock safety clasp, along with various different extensions depending on the model. The Submariner we have here is also fitted with the Oyster lock clasp, but this one has Rolex's glide lock extension, where you just pop it open, slide it out, and pop it back. This is a wetsuit extension, but it also serves as a really nice micro adjustment. Next up, we have the Rolex Jubilee bracelet. This is the second most common bracelet that Rolex offers, and it's a five-link semicircular design. And the center links will always be polished on the Jubilee bracelets. Now, the Jubilee was introduced in 1945, and it was specifically designed for the Datejust model. The Rolex Oyster bracelet is offered on several different kinds of clasps, depending on the exact model. There's the Oyster Lock Safety clasp, like we see here on the right. There's the Concealed Crown clasp, we see here on the left. And there's also the Oyster clasp, which was available on some previous models. With the Oyster Lock Safety Clasp, like we see here on this date chest, it just pops open, closes, and locks closed. Here on this mid-sized version with the Jubilee bracelet, we see another version, which is the Rolex Concealed Crown Clasp. This is a really clean look because you don't really see any big clasp, only the little Rolex coronet right there on the top. You grab that, and it lifts up very cleanly, snaps back together, and it's a great clean look without the big clasp showing. Next, we have the Rolex President Bracelet. And this is a little bit different. It's a semi-circular link like the Jubilee, but it's a three-link design like the Rolex Oyster. And this was introduced in 1956 specifically for the Day-Date model watch. The President bracelet was only offered in precious metals, and it's only available on the Day-Date line and some smaller and mid-size precious metal date just. This bracelet, like the Jubilee, will always have polished center links. Except on some older models, they were offered with textured links like the Bark and Florentine finishes. Also, the President Bracelet is occasionally gem set. Being that the President Bracelet is fitted onto more dress watches, it will always have the concealed crown clasp like we see here. It just pops open, opens up, snaps closed, and it gives a really clean, seamless look that fits nicely with dress watches. Now we're getting into some of the less common Rolex bracelets. Here we see the integrated bracelet. This is on a date chest, and it's the integrated version of the Jubilee bracelet. There are also integrated versions of the Oyster and President bracelets. The integrated bracelets are really easy to spot. They have no end link, and the case and bracelet flow seamlessly together. Also, the links, instead of being the round semicircular like you see on the President or Jubilee bracelets, they're really flat and angular. The bracelet really stands out, and you can tell right away that this is a Rolex integrated bracelet. The integrated bracelet was introduced in 1977 by Rolex, and it was specifically for this watch, the Oyster Quartz. The integrated bracelets are fitted with a standard fold-over or concealed clasp, depending exactly on the model. Here we have the standard fold-over clasp, and there's never an extension system on the integrated bracelet clasps. Now we're going to talk about the original, the leather strap. The leather strap was the very first strap option that Rolex offered, and it's been consistent in their line ever since. Rolex offers leather straps on many of their models, including the Skydweller, the Daytona, the Day-Date, and the Datejust, just to name a few. The Rolex leather straps also come in an almost endless variety of colors and finishes. Here we have the classic black and classic brown, both in the alligator embossed finish, but Rolex has offered plenty of others in the past. In the early 2000s, they released special gold Daytona watches with colorful dials and colorful leather straps. Leather straps later appeared on precious metal versions of the Skydweller, Daytona, Day-Date, and Datejust. 
We have a couple different examples here, but Rolex has offered the leather straps fitted with oyster clasp, oyster lock safety clasps, concealed crown clasps, and the very old models had the traditional tang and buckle. Now we're going to talk about the most luxury bracelet that Rolex offers, the Promaster. The Promaster is a five link bracelet design that has really rounded links. You can see that it's kind of bubbly and has a really rounded soft feel to it. And this bracelet was introduced in 1992 and it was originally designed for the ladies Pearlmaster Datejust. The Pearlmaster bracelet is only constructed out of precious metals and it's only fitted to precious metal Datejust and Day Date watches. This bracelet is also always fully high polished and sometimes gem set. The Pearlmaster is a very luxury bracelet with a very clean design and this includes the integrated crown clasp that just pops open at the top of the Rolex coronet snaps closed. This bracelet has a really clean and finished look without a large buckle on the bottom side. Last but not least, this brings us to Rolex's Oyster Flex strap. This is Rolex's version of a rubber strap. It's more like a really high-end luxury rubber strap. It's black elastomer with a titanium and nickel alloy core. So it's rubber on the top and bottom and inside there's a very thin layer of titanium that adds structural stability. The Oyster Flex strap was introduced in 2015 and it was originally fitted to the Everose Yachtmaster like you see here on the left. Since then it's been added to certain gold versions of the Daytona like we see here on the right and other gold versions of the Yachtmaster. The Oyster Flex strap was introduced in 2015 and it was originally fitted to the Everose Yachtmaster like we see here on the left. Since then, it's been offered with other gold versions of the Daytona, like we see here on the right, and Yachtmaster, like we see here on the left. So I want to show you guys the underside of this strap. This isn't just a regular black rubber strap like you'd find on any run-of-the-mill watch. This thing is really well engineered and really well designed. If you see on the inside, it has these cushions, these kind of cutouts that actually hold the strap up off your wrist a little bit and they really help with weight distribution and airflow. So the strap doesn't wear super hot, you can get some airflow under there and it's just a really, really comfortable strap. It's probably the most comfortable rubber strap that I've ever worn. Being that the Oyster Flex strap is fitted to gold watches, it also comes with a gold Oyster Lock safety clasp like you see here. Just pops open and opens very smoothly and very cleanly. There's also three points of adjustment on here. You can move this contact point in one of three points on the bottom side of the buckle. Today we had a look at some of the different strap and bracelet options that are offered by Rolex. Now Rolex offers a ton of different strap and bracelet options. Hopefully this was able to highlight some of the key differences between these in functionality and aesthetics. Thanks for joining us on this one and be sure to like and subscribe for more watch reviews, comparisons, and how-to guides.